When do you see quantum computers being available commercially? Okay, co quantum computers. There is a lot of talk about quantum computing in the past four or five years. I think Google had announced, I mean, companies like Google, Microsoft, Microsoft, and whatever else, they are investing in quantum computing. They're developing quantum computers. And uh, I think in 2018 or 2019, Google or somebody announced that they had uh, achieved quantum supremacy, which, which means that their quantum computer was able to do a certain task, which a classical computer simply can't do. A standard computer simply can't do. Well, understand first of all that even your regular laptops and what uh, all these computers are based, they, they operate based on quantum mechanics. At the, at the end of the day, those chips and circuits and the everything that happens in that, it would not happen, it would not work without quantum mechanical technologies like semiconductors and so on. The, the gates on a, you know, on a circuit in a computer, in a, in a regular computer, they operate because of uh, so the, the semiconducting property that they have and that's a quantum property and all that. But quantum computers are all about, uh, are about using quantum mechanical phenomena and controlling those such as superposition entanglement and all that by to cre by creating qubits quantum bits which are superposed bits instead of classical bits and then you manipulate those quantum bits to to perform calculations and so on that's how quantum computers work so right now we are in the early research and development phase of quantum computing i would say that maybe in the next 5 or so years 5 or maybe 10 years you would see hybrid computers becoming available they'll be very expensive and only some some corporations or, or governments will be able to afford them initially so these hybrid com computers will have some some quantum component as well as classical components and they'll be used mainly for cryptography and for drug discovery molecular analysis protein analysis things like that but those will be initially hybrid computers because it's quantum computers uh they they are very delicate you the, the you need to have an extremely cold temperature within in which you create the superpositions and all those quantum computing bits qubits and qubits are very fragile they need extremely cold temperatures the the presence of any heat warmth would destroy the the superpositions and entanglements decohere the quantum effects and then, then that's the end of it and even if it's slightly slightly warm then you could have Errors creeping into the into the computations, so you would need error compu error correct correction codes, and those are still in, in the process of development. So I think the best quantum computers right now can superpose I don't know how many qubits, maybe a handful of qubits, maybe a hundred or so qubits, maybe a thousand qubits. But for a proper quantum computer, you would need millions of qubits working together at the same time. Uh, so I would say five to ten years, you would have hybrid systems emerging then between 10 to 20 years you may have a better more robust more powerful com quantum computers coming but it becoming accessible and available to everybody i mean a quantum computing laptop 20 plus years easily so that's how i see it happening it's it's a very new technology it's a nascent technology but yeah it, it has very powerful future applications if you if the technology can be de developed to make it work properly reliably and efficiently